Hey guys, what's up? I'm Dylan, and today I'm gonna to be talking about something that a lot of you guys have been asking for. So, if you have watched my college app advice video, like everything you need to know, um, you probably saw that I did a lot of organization on my college apps using OneNote, the application. And so a lot of you were asking if I could do a step-by-step -step tutorial of how to organize your college apps and strategize them using OneNote. And so that's exactly what I'm gonna show you today. And you can do this on on Google Docs as well using Google Docs and Google Drive. It's basically just a way for you to get all of the information about your college apps in one consolidated place. And it's just a way for you to be as organized as possible to prevent you from having stress or time management issues in the future. Okay, so first of all, OneNote is a Microsoft application that you can download for free. So I'm gonna go on my computer right now and show you. Okay, so if you go to onenote.com slash download, here you can download it for free and then you will have to make a Microsoft account but it's super easy just like sign in with your email or whatever make a password and then you'll have access to OneNote so basically OneNote is a note-taking software that you can use for literally anything a lot of teachers do use it also for their own lectures and stuff you can draw on it you can type notes yada yada so you can access it in a bunch of different ways so there is the application which you can actually download to your computer which is what this does so you'll have a separate application. You can also download this as an app on your phone. So you have it on both platforms and they do automatically sync because they're tied to your account. And then lastly, you can also just access it from any web browser by logging in with your information. Okay, so how do you use this for college apps? So the first thing that you need to do in terms of college apps is create a college list or do a bunch of research into colleges that you're thinking about applying to. This does not mean you have to apply to these colleges. It's just things you're thinking about. I think one of the best places to really quickly and easily search for the school you're looking for is on the College Board's website, bigfuture.collegeboard.org slash college search. On this website, you can put in your preferences and because obviously the colleges you're choosing is based on a number of factors, including like your area of study, your location, the size of the school, if it's co-ed versus an all boys school, an all girls school, um, the selectivity, the overall vibe of the school, the extracurricular opportunities and research opportunities that they have, the study abroad programs, the housing, the religious affiliation, diversity, and financial aid. You know, there's just so many factors that go into it. So I recommend first, when putting together your college apps, you wanna do your research. I say this in literally all of my videos, do your research. And so this is a website where you can do that research. I also mostly just recommend looking on the actual college's website and reading in on their specific programs and majors and all the things that you wanna know about. Okay, then what you wanna do is go into OneNote and this is where we get organized. On OneNote, you can create different notebooks and then within each notebook, you can create different sections and then within those sections, you can create different pages. So I recommend creating a whole new notebook for college specifically. So the, these are some of my notebooks. So you can click add notebook in the bottom left corner. Um, I'm not gonna click that right now because I already have one, but I'm just calling this one college. This is the one that I used for my college apps when I was applying. Okay, now that I'm in this notebook, as you can see, there are different sections here and then this is where all my pages will go. So I'm creating an example one just for you guys where I will click add section. So click add section from the bottom left and then I you can rename it by right clicking and saying a rename. And I call this one example and that's what I'm gonna keep it as because this is my example video. And then you can create new pages. So it starts off with this untitled page. So I'm just gonna go ahead and work with this. So I'm gonna go ahead and call this like college research. Like this is just some colleges that I'm thinking about. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is create a table and I love tables and you're gonna see me create several tables multiple times in this video. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go into insert, then table and you choose how big you want it. You can always adjust it later. So I'm just gonna say, I'm just gonna say four for right now. I don't, I don't really know. And so in this table, you should list the different factors that you're comparing these different colleges on. So let's say the name, the majors offered, based on my specific interests, uh, whether it's a reach, match, or safety school, and then location. And if you wanna add more factors, you totally can. You can just go up here and say insert right or insert left or you know insert below. And that's how you create more columns or rows on your table. Inside, I'm gonna go ahead and put 
For example, Stanford, the majors that they offered that I was specifically interested in are art practice and then symbolic systems. Then I was considering science, technology and society. Um, so I'm just gonna like put that there. Um, it was a reach for me. It was located in California, but specifically in Palo Alto. I can hit tab and it'll go down to the next row. Let's just say USC, because that's also what I was considering. I was told that this was also a reach school for me. Um, I did end up getting into both these schools and actually all the schools that I applied to, uh, just if you're like new to this channel and I do go to Stanford right now. Okay, so I just filled my table in with three schools just to like give you an example of how this would go. Um, the next thing I'm gonna do is color code because that is my favorite thing and that's how organization is fun and beautiful. Okay, so what you wanna do is highlight what you want to color code and then, actually I don't wanna color code this. I wanna color code the actual schools. So I'm gonna highlight Stanford and then I'm gonna go to shading, which is still under table. And then I'm going to click a color and wow that's really dark i don't want that color so i'm gonna click like a light color yeah that's more like it and then i'm just gonna go ahead and color these schools based on whatever i want it to be boom there you go so now there's color involved and looks prettier okay so this is the place where you're just gonna like dump a bunch of colleges in that you're considering and using the google searches and college board searches and your own research just dump a bunch of schools in here it's the first thing you want to do when approaching your college apps okay now once you have settled on the schools you actually want to apply for you're gonna create a new table and this is gonna have all of the requirements and things that you need to do for that college application so what i'm going to do is add a new page and i'm going to call it college checklist i'm going to make this one all caps because this is the one that's actually like really 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 important then i'm going to make a new table actually mm, yeah i'm going to make a new table i'm going to type in college name and then i'm going to click tab to go to the next one uh, application deadline highly important what's required interviews um decision released by and actually no i'm not gonna do any more that's it and then i'm gonna fill in the information okay i just added major also just to write down the major that i'll be going for so in my actual stanford application i went for cs plus art but mm, that doesn't exist anymore so i'm just gonna say art practice because that's what i'm doing now <laughs> Okay, so as you can see, I've populated this table with all the information. So this is where I recommend doing a lot more research also and just finding out exactly what you need for the application and putting it all in here so you have a clear idea of all the things that you need to complete. Now, let's also beautify this. So I'm gonna go ahead and select the row, go to table, shading, and shade it. The colors that I want again, also, I'm just gonna highlight the arts portfolio because I think that's really important and I just wanted to know specifically if I need to do an arts portfolio. Because some schools I did submit an arts portfolio and other schools I didn't. For these three schools I did and so that's what I have up here. Also, I think it's really important to make little check boxes because it's a checklist after all. So what we're gonna do is select everything that's inside the like what's required and then OneNote has these wonderful features where you can click uh, to do, which is a little checkbox, and then if you click on it, it'll check the box. So I love that. You can also do like important with the star and use that if you want. Um, question um, for later. There's like a couple other features that I recommend you play around with. Yeah, so go in and do this for all of your schools once you figure out what schools you're actually applying to. So as you can see here, now it's a lot more clear to me what I need to get done. Common App Essay can be seen in all these, so I know that like that covers that. But then also the supplemental essays. There's three for Stanford, two for USC, one for NYU. So there's a lot of extra work that goes into your college apps besides the one big Common App Essay. So I recommend that you look into that so you don't accidentally realize a couple days before the deadline that you have a whole other essay to write. Also just wanted to note in here for the Stanford application, the deadline I put here is December 1st. That's because uh, that's what it was for me for submitting an arts portfolio. But if you are not submitting an arts portfolio, then it will be later. Also, all of these are regular decision dates. I think I'm also gonna put little check boxes on the actual college name and I'm gonna shift that over. So if I, like once I'm done submitting one of these applications, I can go ahead and check it off and it'll look really nice and feel really good that I checked something off. 
Also, another thing to note, the decision released by part, as you can see, all of them say April 1st. And that was the case for me, like all of these schools told me April 1st. Yeah, that doesn't happen. They release it probably earlier than that. And I found out all of these on like different days, but they were all sometime in March. So I would say like end of March is really when you're gonna find out. They just don't give you a like specific, specific date. They're just saying April 1st by the latest. The next thing that you should do once you've done this or simultaneously while you're doing this is create pages for every single one of your colleges where you can list important information and more detailed information specific to that school. So I'm gonna go ahead and add another page and let's call this one Stanford. And here I will include like links and other things I'm just trying to figure out or I just need to note or write down. So actually instead of creating one right now, I think I'm gonna show you what I actually wrote when I actually did my college apps for Stanford. So if I go into colleges, you'll see this is literally everything I just walked you through, but when I did it myself. Okay, not this, but I'll go into this in another video. Creating a schedule, oh, that's so important. Actually, I'm gonna link that right here once I actually do that video because creating a schedule is really important and it helps with time management. But anyways, I'm gonna go into my Stanford one. And so as you can see here, this is where, <laughs> no film for photos. This is when I put all of this information about Stanford that I've just gathered mostly from online, but maybe finally talked to somebody and thought it was important to put it in here. I think it's really important to do that. And then like, here's the one for UCLA I did. I think I just put a lot of like portfolio stuff in here too. So here's another thing you can do. I mean, obviously you can play around and do whatever you want with this, but um, going back to here, you can also, if you are submitting an arts portfolio, make another uh, column for arts portfolios and say exactly what's required. Because I know sometimes it's like 10 images, sometimes it's like five images. Sometimes, or if you're doing an, let's say you're doing a theater performance, I was talking about visual art, but if you're doing theater um, and doing an audition, then like how long does the cut need to be? What kinds of monologues are they looking for? Or if you're going for musical theater, like songs, what kinds of songs are they looking for? What songs are you gonna use for which school and etc. If you're gonna do a video audition versus an in-person audition and actually fly out, it's really important to write down all of that information here so you have it clear and organized for you to just boom look at and there it all is. Another thing about OneNote is that you can extend your space however much you want, which is amazing. It's not just like Word or Google Docs where you have to kind of create everything linear. Like I can just start, so if I type here in the Stanford uh, thing, I can just click wherever I want and I'm gonna just start typing again and I can just type nonsense and then I can type over here and then I can type over here and then I can like star as important and I can type over here and basically you can just keep writing for as much space to the right or to the bottom as you want like you can just create that space for yourself so I really like that there are no bounds and you can just use as much space as you want. Another really handy thing that you can do and that I recommend you doing is create a page or maybe even a whole nother section, that's what I did for like the actual application. Um, so basically what I did and the way I strategized my college apps is that I wanted to make sure that I was presenting the full version of myself to each of these schools. So obviously each school has like different essays that they receive from you and whatnot. So I wanted to make sure that in each of these packaged applications that they understood that I was an art person. I also really like tech and like I wanna get involved with tech and art. And I'm also a musical theater performer and nerd and whatever. I wanted colleges to be aware of who I was as a person. Oh yeah, not only that, not just only the things I did, but like the way I am and my specific values. I wanted to make sure that each of those values were being communicated to each of these colleges. So I'm just gonna show you what I did and not necessarily build it, but um, you already know how to build tables and stuff now in OneNote, so that's great. And you can do basically anything now. So if I go into my application, section you can see I have this checklist it's kind of weird but you know you just did things that work for me so I was comparing like the activities and stuff that I mentioned with my common app versus my UC app and then also I was talking about my essays and like in the UC's app in the Stanford app in the USC app like did I communicate these different things about myself that I wanted to make sure I communicated um, and then obviously I like didn't finish these because it says like I need to add art, need to add musical theater. I did end up uh, finishing all that and making sure that each college understood who I was. But yeah, I think it's a really handy thing to do. If you want to do it, it's a great idea. If not, it's fine too. 
The last thing I'm going to talk about is creating sections for your extracurricular information where you can just work out the wording and stuff. Obviously, I do recommend doing that in Google Docs to just like spell check everything and yada yada, but I did put it in here as well so I could compare my Common App with my UC app. So if you see in my Common App, I have like the honors and activities and stuff listed here. And then once again, like I talked about the different versions of myself, I guess, with the different activities I do, I made a color key. So I made a key here and I just, you know, used highlight, you can highlight up here to choose the different colors. And then I created a key basically that said the different things that I was doing, whether this was related to computers and technology or theater or community service or work or it was art or as an internship. So then I could go in and color code it the way that I wanted. And then after I color coded it, it, it told me a lot about like what I was presenting myself as to the colleges. And so I wanted to make sure that I wasn't like showing too much of this side and not enough of this side of me like basically i wanted the art and tech to come across the strongest on my application since that was the major i was going for so i kind of kind of emphasized that in my application and i noticed that initially i had a lot of like theater and musical theater things related on here and so i kind of shuffled it around and took some of that stuff out so i could really focus on the art and tech stuff and then also, as you can see, like the colors kind of changed. So I ordered it in a very specific way as well in terms of what I thought was most important. What I like dedicated my time to a lot was definitely Thespians, which was a club that I did in high school, a theater club. And yeah, so I listed it like that. So this is just like helpful to organize your stuff. And then if I go into the UC app, it's very different here. And so here's like a thing I noted for myself, make sure the UC app matches the common app. It says exactly what I list here. So I just want to make sure that the descriptions were the same, um, but they have the UC and the common app have different ways of reporting your extracurriculars. Um, USC has like a bunch of different types, whereas common app just says extracurriculars. Um, I'm actually going to go into that in another video and explain exactly how to list your extracurriculars. Um, but for right now, like if you can just see, you can use OneNote to your advantage in this case, where you can just write down everything that you need and then compare the two. It's just really nice having this like digital notebook, you know, because I can go here and look at something immediately and everything is just in this compact, concise place. And I can look at it on my phone. I can look at it on my computer. I can look at it on any computer because I can just log in with my web browser. You can also do all of this stuff with Google Docs if you want. You can do all the same things, creating a table and then go to table properties to make the color in the background for your table. The only thing that I would rather do OneNote instead of Google Docs is that Google Docs, you kind of just have files everywhere. Um, but I like that it's in this hierarchy in OneNote where I can go sections, page, 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 or like this section and these pages. So it's, it's just a lot more organized in that way. Also, I like OneNote better than Google Docs in this specific case, because like I talked about with the space, um, I can just keep writing forever. Whereas Google Docs is very restricted to the page format. All right, so that's it for this little tutorial and explanation of how to stay organized with your college apps. I'm also gonna create new videos just going further in depth about the whole college app process and the way that I did things. So yeah, if you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and also make sure to subscribe because I'm gonna be posting more really helpful college information. Thanks so much. Have a nice day.